guys and welcome back to fun to explore Danny's account this is a um, product I bought on I think eBay this is one of those little things you put on your finger they don't say they're too accurate actually to be completely honest um, it's not working right now it's actually broken um, they break very easily Mine broke just by a little bit of juice being on the floor left by my daughter. And I guess it may have got in here. And I had to stick it in rice for about two days. And the rice, you know, soaked it out to where I could turn it on. But it's damaged, so it doesn't read. And then when it does read, it gives you a completely wrong heart rate. Like, obviously, I'm sitting down right now. I mean, I mean, that could be right, because I'm moving around. I mean, it might be right, maybe it fixes itself, but a heart rate, one of these doesn't usually move so drastically, and one time I was sitting down, and it went all the way to like 135, 145, 155, and my, my SPO2 is usually always 99 or 100. Now it's like going up and down. I mean, it could be right, I think it's wrong. Personally, because, like I said, my daughter got juice in it. Um, this, was, this product is called the Contact Pulse Oximeter. I'm trying to make it more clear for you guys. This is the new other product. This is the model number. The battery voltage. The operating current is 20 MA. The safety class is type BF. Um, and then, this is where you put the battery. You use two AAA batteries, and there's actually, I never knew this, there is a reset button in the bottom. I think that's a reset button, is it? Not sure. No, it's not a reset button, my bad. It's just, um, I don't know, I guess it's just a little decoration. <laughs> then you just place the batteries in there like so. And put this on there. Oh, if I can get it on there. Like I said mine's kind of broken because of my two year old. Almost two year old. And voila. I mean, you can see these um, in the doctor's office. This one works. You can see. Well, I don't know what's going on with it now. I think you can see the red dot in there. That's where you stick your finger. But this is my review on the Contact Pulse Oximeter, and this one's for the fingertip. This was $9.99 on eBay, and this came, took about 7 to 14 business days, free shipping. So they're definitely cheap, and they're definitely worth it if you have any heart, like, issues, or you just want to keep track of your heart rate and your oxygen levels. Personally, I um, have anxiety, so I purchased it to keep track of my heart rate. But that's about it. So that, this little guy does the job. If you have any questions on this product, as you can see, the bag keeps falling off. If you have any questions on this product, just um, leave a comment below, and I would be more than happy to comment back with any questions. Thanks, guys, for watching my review, and... Hope to see you guys back.